the word here titiksha which yeah. also comes across as one of the qualifications for the seeker Correct. could you just spend a couple more minutes on on this word because it seems to be extremely important in whatever we do in our even in our daily lives correct so titiksha as i said it literally means tolerate but as as uh, we unfold it what is to tolerate tolerate we, we can tolerate many things gritting our teeth right tolerate sometimes has this feeling of i don't really want to uh, accept it but i i do it because i have to tolerate it here we're going a bit further than endurance and toleration as a spiritual aspirant here we're making making the aspirant understand there is an order to all that is happening in life see that is why ishvara becomes very important the acceptance of the order that is ishvara ishvara is pervading this whole universe in the form of various orders physical order biological order chemical order even science cannot refute ishvara for you know science is not contradictory to our understanding vedic unfoldment of ishvara so once i understand that there is a reason for things to be the way they are it is not under my control it is a happening situations are given to me given means there is a giver so the acceptance of the giver comes into the picture when i talk about the tiksha then it takes another dimension it doesn't just become tolerance it becomes an acceptance acceptance grows from tolerance and in spiritual life acceptance is needed for growth because i don't resist facts facts are what are manifesting in front of me in the order of ishvara i don't internalize the external situation we can see that as titiksha as well the internalization of external is what disturbs my mind when i learn to be objective uh, which is again bhagavad gita verses are to teach us objectivity bhagwan talks a lot about it rather than internalize and become very subjective you know i mine all of this subjectivity is my own stuff when i learn to look at things objectively like this is the way things are and this is what i the, this is the action i have to take in this situation it is not that i become fatalist and just take everything i can act definitely i have power i have been given the gift of free will so tolerating doesn't mean sitting and just accepting if i can make a change i make a change but if i cannot change the situation then i accept it's a fact and i don't resist it this is called titiksha and and i think which is uh, come into added from adi shankar chari vilap rahitam that becomes much more important because you can endure with having a feeling oh i can't do anything it's it's right. all a lost case or you can endure with an acceptance correct in fact he brings in another word there a pratikara purvakam so there he says you know sometimes we don't know the situation cannot be changed we need ishwara's grace to show because we make keep making effort after effort and effort and the same thing mm. happens so we spend all our lifetime trying to change and there he says without trying to make a change accept it accept you know gracefully it is prasada we'll see that that is how bhagwan trains arjuna to get that samatvam the equanimity over life 